the chi square taste for independence is discussed in this video the chi square taste for independence is a non parametric taste because the assumption of normality is not required to perform this taste and that is why this taste is also known as distribution free taste now when chi square taste is useful if we want to examine the association between two categorical or nominal variables if we want to examine the association between two categorical variables then chi square taste for independence is used now what do we mean by categorical variables suppose my one variable is gender so value 1 is assigned to male and 2 is assigned to female here the order does not matter at all so if i change the order if i if if 2 is assigned to male and 1 is assigned to female then the order does not uh the the categories does not have the intrinsic value and that is why order does not matter at all so this gender is a categorical variable because categories do not have the intrinsic value similarly if my second variable is a uh, level of satisfaction from suppose existing political party so if i assign 1 to high satisfaction and 2 to low satisfaction or other way around 1 to low and 2 to high so again order does not matter at all because these categories do not have the intrinsic value and that is why level of satisfaction is also a categorical variable so if we want to uh, examine the association between two categorical variables suppose i want to examine the uh, relationship or association ship between gender and level of satisfaction from existing political party then we can use chi square taste we can also use to uh, examine the relationship between absenteeism and gender in a college or in a school or in in, in academic institution or in corporate sector those two are categorical variables now in chi square taste the data is displayed in a contingency table in a contingency table so when we have table we have rows and columns so each row shows the categories of one variable and each columns shows the categories of another variable so suppose gender is uh, displayed row wise then each row shows the categories of gender if level of satisfaction is uh, written column wise then each column shows the categories of level of satisfaction so this is how we can uh, uh, use the chi square test and contingency table the, the, the data must be in the contingency table to perform the uh, chi square test now what are the assumptions of chi square test assumptions the first assumption is the variable must be or categorical variable second two categories of a variable or the categories of one variable are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive categories 
which means that if observation if, if if one observation fits in a particular category then that observation cannot fall into can, cannot fall to another category fall in another category which which means that suppose we have observation x if this observation x falls into high level of satisfaction category then the same observation cannot fall in low level of low level of satisfaction category so therefore two mutually exclusive categories the, the categories of a variable are mutually exclusive third assumption the data in contingency table should be frequencies or count the data should be frequencies or count so suppose we have uh, the data in the percentage form 40% of females uh, do not uh, satisfy with the from from existing political party or 30% of males do not satisfy from uh, are not satisfied with the existing political party in that case we need to convert this 30% or 40% into actual numbers into counts fourth the sample should contain at least 50 observation we need at least 50 observations to perform chi square test now we discuss the steps involved in chi square test step 1 Define null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis in this case, in, in, in chi square test for independence, is there is no association between two categorical variables. No association. Or two categorical variables are independent of each other. Against the alternative of a significant association between two categorical variables or two categorical variables are not independent of each other. So significant association between two categorical variables. Step 2 specify alpha in social sciences we generally use 5% so this is equal to 0 0.05 step 3 compute chi square statistic so chi square calculated is equal to O minus E square upon E. O is the observed frequency and E is the expected frequency. Step 4. Calculate degree of freedom. So here degree of freedom is R minus 1 into C minus 1. R is the number of rows in a contingency table and C is the number of columns in the contingency table. And step 5. Interpretation. If chi-square calculated is higher than chi-square tabulated, the null hypothesis is rejected. If chi-square calculated is higher than chi-square tabulated, the null hypothesis is rejected and hence we can conclude that there is a significant association between two categorical variables. If chi-square calculated is lower than chi-square tabulated, then we can conclude that there is no association between two categorical variables because we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So this is the concept of chi-square test. Chi-square test is used to uh, examine the association between two categorical variables. 
it is a distribution free test and uh, these are the steps involved in the hypothesis testing of the chi-square test.